Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we have well, one of my hives I kind of left here in my parents' house, and uh, which is awfully nice of them to let me take my killer bees over here to their place. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, hive inspection before I take them um, over to our place, and uh, we'll be transporting bees. Uh, she's car's acting like she's going to get bit, stung by a bee. That yeah, might just got trapped. Uh, so we'll be transporting bees in our hive. We'll show you kind of how we do that um, It might not be the right way, but it's our way I wonder what kind of uh, smoke fuel I use I use uh, Pine needles. It's my favorite of all. So don't go out and buy um, expensive uh, um, Pine I mean starting stuff just get pine needles. Pine needles and the match is really all you need. <coughs> it might be cranky because they haven't hit the sun yet. And I can see the cranky right now. Um, this one's butt was in the air. Okay, uh, I had a, a great question. I just never got around to answering it. Is um, and a few of my videos, I always open it up and I'm like, oh, their butts aren't in the air. And um, someone asks, well, what do you mean by that? And uh, when I open up the top, I can usually tell the how aggressive the hive is going to be by the few seconds when I open up that top before I smoke them, before I do anything. Um, if their butts in the air, with the little stingers out. Um, that means they're all pissy and they're in a bad mood right now. And uh, um, when I lift it up, and if they're all acting normal, I just a little bit of smoke. I don't use veil. I don't use uh, um, really anything at all. Um, just uh, smoke. And I, I I rarely ever get stung, and it's because I go off this kind of a method of uh, what's their temperament like with their butts in the air. Now, does this work with your bees? I don't know, but it's just something I've picked up myself and learned myself. Of uh, if the bees are um, are going to be pissy or not, and uh, this hive tells me that they might be a little bit pissy, so I'm not going to do a big. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to even look in there very hard. I'll just go into that top box to see if she's laying up in there or not, because I can see that being in the shade, um, that they're going to be a little bit on the ornery side. I kind of already knew that as well, but they confirmed that they're going to be ornery. Just with the uh, butts in the air and looking at me that way. That's just dumb. It's kind of like a middle finger when they when you open it up. So I can see. I don't. I don't even really need this box. Um, they're not really using it. I don't think they're really using this. Uh, let's pull this one out. First one. Pull, pull. It's not much honey. I mean, it's a pound maybe, a honey bear full. Ah, this one's a couple pounds. Of... All right, we got the. Looks like the queen laid up here, and uh, we got a little bit of drone, and then a little, a little bit of drone life in there. So what I'll do is I'll take this home. I just kind of. I know there's a queen in here. Oh, oh, let's see, I gotta push all these back, don't I? Ugh. Okay, so um, I've got maybe three frames of honey, and um, this is uh, what I'll do is I'll put a, a, a queen excluder in here. I'm getting these ready for the winter. I'll push the um, the bees down, and um, when all the brood has hatched in this upper box. Uh, They'll, they'll backfill it with honey and then um, once the larva and the babies are gone then I'll just take and extract that honey 
and uh, I'm, this this hive I'm gonna do a single box not all my hives to do that way um, it's about 50 50 half my hives I winter them up with double box half I do single um, I like the single better it's just uh, it's all in preference you get less honey other than that they survive just fine okay we are back um, in the early in the morning before the bees wake up uh, to get the bees I snuck back here behind my parents yard and their sprinklers are watering the garden look how beautiful this garden is I don't mean to get sidetracked but uh, look at that the tomato plants I'll try not to get too wet but look at that corn looks good onions on look at these onions guys That's like that's like the size of big softballs. I uh I grow onions. I grow are very large golf ball looking size. <laughs> a very large ping pong looking size of onions. I grow. Sorry to get sidetracked, but uh we're gonna haul these bees in the van. I got my four-year-old filming us. Maybe we didn't come early enough. <coughs> Alright, should we try it again? Yeah. Justice, come here. Let me spray you smoke. Okay. Hold your breath. Turn around. So there's, you know, one point that, um, that we went to go put it in the back. I just felt the bees just pouring out of there, just landing on my arm. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't have no smoke or anything on them. And we need to, I think I'm definitely going to get stung multiple times. And so we hurried and we put the, put the uh, hive down and, and then we smoked them. I don't know, maybe a couple hundred flew out. And... I got stung once, and that's just because I put my hand on, on top of a bee. But we've got them in the back now, and they're not coming out. That's a fly I just saw. They're not flying around. Uh, maybe they're used to this. <laughs> but anyway, we're hauling. We're hauling butt home. We've got maybe 20, 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive ahead of us. So. Uh, and we've done this a lot before and I've never had that many. Maybe it's just because it's a bigger hive. And that's a, you know, uh, got two boxes on it and it's full, it's heavy. I, I've 
before when we've moved them, we've been able to lift them by ourselves, huh? Mm -hmm. Like you got that one that you picked up and you. Yeah, I was able just to move it myself. Yeah, this one. Oh no, there's there's no. It's a one man one woman job, definitely. Mm-hmm. Or two man one woman. She <laughs> car is strong. <laughs> Don't mess with my wife. <laughs> She'll whoop ya. All right, we're heading home. Okay, so we're, we're at our destination here, and uh, I just went ahead and opened up the van and I smoked on the inside a little bit, calmed down because um, it's quite a rough ride here. So, uh, there's some right there on the window. That's not bad. Centered. Yeah, okay. Um, this is, it needs to come over that this way. way just a touch. Right there. So before we did this, we had a uh, cinder bricks out. We set it on top and it's already level. Ish. So, ha! That was a chore. Okay, so we got the bees back here safely. Um, the only sting that we received was me putting my hand on a, a bee that was just kind of trapped on in water here on top, a water droplet, so it couldn't fly away. And I put my hand on top of her, and that's the only sting we received. Kind of a close call, a little bit there as we were loading them up. I didn't expect them all to kind of fly out like that, but. We uh we managed. We got by, huh? Yeah. Um, that yeah, was a bit of a close call. And I have an awesome camera man. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks for filming me. Wave, wave with the camera. <laughs> you got good at. All right. All right. I think uh I think that concludes today's vlog. See you guys in the next one.